Hi, welcome back to ETIC ABC IT tutorial. Um, this topic is about the ultimate uh, guide to Gluster and ESX and as Gluster as Virtual Sun on the ESX. So this is actually my actual server. Okay, so I just created a separate uh, separate testing so that uh, it's it's not uh, connected to my production my production can run the, the, the rest of the production and BMs anyway so I put first the just just one of them and it's, it's this is a full-blown uh, server if you take a look on the processor it's really a uh, you know the, the 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 server not this is not a uh, workstation testing even hyper threading i disabled it because it's, it's hyper threading is low you, you should not run it on production and my memory is this is usually 8 gig but i don't know how how do they calculate it um so the first part i need to to test is uh to test send os as a pass through or we call that uh, direct but io uh, access okay so to make a direct path io is to to have the bm direct access to the to the to the network not as a hypervisor network because of course always accessing from hypervisor network is slow and but the direct access it will be faster by the way, when I was testing multiple testing, I, I, pr I probably tested about 15 to 20 testing, multiple testing with with BM BM Next 3, uh, you know, the deep, the, you know, the, it's supposed to be faster, even if it's just 2 gig, it will show us 10 gig in Windows, right? But uh, that one always corrupted my Gluster FS. So, but putting it back to e E1000 is not really that fast. But I, a good thing I I remember. Oh, why should I? Sh I should use a, a direct pass, <laughs> direct pass, pass through a network. And this is the first part. So in here, to enable the pass through is uh, first to select it, and then you reboot it. And after you reboot, it should it should show here. And then that will be available to your BM. Now my BM have network right but there's no network here because i'm using that as a pass through and to enable that as pass through you select that pci device okay so when you select here you don't select ethernet but pci device and then you just select one either one or two or zero or one right because they are two only now let me show you the interface my, my switch first you can see here this is the port that I'm using um, port 1 and 2 and 221 and they are pass if you took take a look on the rest of the this these are the these are the DP switch and DP switch is the ultimate one in in vSphere right let me show you my networking See, I don't have anything on the standard switch, but everything is on the everything is on the DB switch, right? But they are all configured as slow, and by default they are slow. So probably to make it pass, you have to call VMware. But by default it's not. But in Linux or CentOS, to make that to make that uh, to make it that pass you have to put this on the banding the band zero the LACP rate one it's only zero or one and of course you put here mode four for the LACP and these are the parameters for the other slave okay and then if you take a look on the speed of the band zero okay so band uh, the ETH1 and 0 is of course 1000 but the band 0 is of course the combination of the two is 2000 so it will really use the ultimate speed of the physical not as a hypervisor network and always hypervisor, hypervisor 
networking or stories are slow. So this is the, the first part that I'm using. I will just post it one by one. I will not make it as one because I don't have time for that. Okay, so it's up to you. If you don't want to watch, watch the first or second part. My second part is, of course, I will use the storage as raw device. Because using the raw device is really accessing the physical storage itself, not as a hypervisor storage. So watch out for that.